Each summer, the Technogenesis Scholars Program at Stevens promotes advanced research opportunities among a select group of students. Here are a few of the 2009 Summer Scholars. Hi, my name is Jack Stafford. I'm working with Dr. Stefan Stroff in the Physics Department. Our project's called Quantum Cryptography using single photon sources. We are using uh, quantum dots uh, to create a single photon and we implement the BB84 protocol uh, form of internet security and uh, we simulate sending digital information uh, from computer to computer uh, and hope to uh, implement the BB84 protocol uh, which is basically the future of uh, internet security. Alright, we all set? Now, turn down the power. Okay. Do we have the electrodes in the right direction? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, just, just, it's just making a connection, you know? Yeah, no, I just... I was just saying from here to here, because, like, this is where the... Possibly, yeah, yeah. Like that's what I mean. Like, yeah, so just I turned off. Hi, I'm Paige Armstrong, and I'm Laura Griggs, and we are um, one, uh, two of the Technogenesis Summer Scholars students. Um, we're doing two different projects under the advisement of Dr. Hazelwood, Dr. Ritter, and Professor Valdivit. Uh, the first project that we are doing is breast cancer imaging. Um, what we do is we use um, impedance technology to get the values, and hopefully we'll create a 3D image so it could be used for detecting breast cancer and whether or not it's benign or malignant and whether or not surgery is required. And our other project is uh, an, another senior design project that we are advancing the research on. It's the backup spinal expandable cage. And uh, right now we're doing some work in helping with uh, acquiring the non-provisional patent. Hi, my name is Sham Shah, and I'm a rising sophomore at Stevens Institute of Technology. I'm currently working on conjugating a protein called KLH to carbon nanotubes and silicon dioxide nanoparticles. Typically, these sit in the solution for a while, and then these are rinsing steps, so it usually shakes during this. Hi, my name is Robert Mirza. I'm a freshman chemical biology student. Uh, my summer technogenesis project is with Dr. Sukashvili on temperature responsive nanocomposite clay polymer films. Uh, what we have right here is the, uh, the, the dipping robot that we use uh, for our layer by layer method. Our goal is to build these layers into uh, clay polymer films that are temperature responsive.
Hello, my name is Amanda DiGiulio and I am a summer 2009 Technogenesis Scholar. My research is on the nuclear pore complex. The nuclear pore complex is an arrangement of proteins that forms a pore in the nucleus of every cell um, in your body. And I'm studying the way individual nucleoporins, which are the individual proteins that make up this complex, fit together to form the overall structure of this pore. Um, it's important because mutations in individual nucleoporins are known to be associated with several diseases, leukemias, premature aging disorders, heart disease, cirrhosis of the liver. Um, I'm studying the way these nucleoporins fit together. Um, mutations in these nucleoporins alter the structure of the pore and this leads to unwanted transport into the nucleus of a cell or out or prohibition, prohibition of transport. <laughs> All right, here we're pouring our RDX laden material water into our iron copper samples. Hopefully to eliminate our energetic materials here. So we got a shake well. Simulate like a rotator, right Alan? Yep. Now, we do this in intervals for 45 minutes. And basically then we'll take this to another machine which will tell us how much of the energetic materials is, is left in the water. And it'll tell us our concentration. Now, what's gonna happen is that, and what we're going for is that the concentration will decrease uh, ideally to practically zero after we're done. So here Alan's taking his first sample and he's drawn about two milliliters out. This is initially, or this is um, essentially taking a time stamp of what's going on in the progress. So it'll show us exactly what's going on after one minute, and then we'll do it again at five minutes, 10 minutes, 20, 30, and 45. I'll be taking mine. Now, here, maybe they can see they filled it. That's a special filter on the bottom of it. It'll filter out any uh, iron particles because if any, gets into the our uh, into our sample here which he's going to put in this bottle then the reaction will continue which would defeat the purpose so we want to make sure that there's no iron particles left within the uh, our sample here These are special taps. Replaceable. Make sure everything goes. Nothing is, so nothing is contaminated here. I filter. Got some waste. And I'll load the rest into the bottle. Hi, my name is Nick Catania, and uh, hi, my name is Alan White, and we're part of the Technogenesis Scholars Program, and our project name is Bimetal, Bimetal Particles for the Remediation of Energetic Materials. Our professor is uh, Professor Breida of the Engineering Environmental Engineering Department, and Alan's going to tell you a little bit about our project. What we're doing here is using copper-coated iron particles to remediate. Uh, wastewater that contains RDX, which is an explosive, and we're testing out different sizes of the iron particles along with different copper solutions, trying to find the most economical method to optimize the whole process. Right, so RDX laden uh, material water is produced in army ammunition plants, and we're trying uh, to see what's going to work to help clean up the uh, water that comes out of these plants. And we uh, work with these little particles right here. We got about 64 of these things, and each one takes an hour to make, so uh, you can do the calculations for that one. But uh, this was the first part of our project, and these are our materials that are going, being immersed in the RDX water, and hopefully to solve the problem, right?
Yep. Yep. My name is Alessandro Di Leonardo. I'm a four out of five co-op student, mechanical engineer, currently working with Professor David Capillary for the Technogenesis program. Project's name is Micro Nano Mobile Robots. Hopefully, we're trying to expand our knowledge to power up these micro to nano scale robots. My name is Krishna Amin. I'm part of the Summer Technogenesis Program. My project is on the effects of blood substitutes on smooth muscle cells. We have created hemoglobin-based particles and run many different cytotoxicity tests to see the effects of these particles on cells. We have also performed cell staining techniques to see how these particles interact with um, the smooth muscle cells. Hi, my name is Tenzin Bissa. Uh, I'm a rising sophomore and I'm currently doing a research here at the Nicole Environmental Lab under the Technogenesis Summer Research Program. I'm currently working with Dr. Meng. Uh, basically, my research is on removal of phosphate contaminants in wastewater using agricultural waste products or bisorbents. In this experiment, I'm using rice husk due to its lignocellulosic structure and also because it's one of the most common staple crop or staple food used throughout the world.